Yahoo is right, Bill. I'm as excited as you are. This little beauty's gonna make our lives a whole lot easier. We'll call it the automobile. We'll sit in it, and it will take us places. Well, I don't get it. But since you've had me working on this stupid thing for the last three months, we may as well try it out. Sorry. Okay, okay, here we go! Oh, please, slow down. The wind is messing up my hair. Gee, I don't get it. I thought I had this all figured out. Well, Scooter, obviously you didn't. Then once again, you've completely wasted our time. I'm so close, I can just feel it. What could it be? I'll be under this rubber tree while you spin your wheels trying to figure out what went wrong this time. I'm really tired of this. Oh, well. I guess I should just start all over again. You do that, genius. Wake me up when you're done. When does the hurting stop? Can't you find a more pleasant way to wake me up? That wasn't me, Bill. It was a... Tasty shot, squat. We aim to please, Doc. Let's move out, boys. We'll make a beeline, so to speak, right for those ridiculous humans. <laughs> I can't wait to have the fat one stuffed and mounted in the game room. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, okay. These round things were in, give me an idea. Will this idea make the ground softer when we hit it? No. Then will you do me a little favor, Scoot? Sure, Bill. Just shut up! I've got them on radar. They're apparently jumping all over the place. I don't like these humans. Every time we think we figure them out, we discover some new incredible power they possess. <laughs> well, they're about to meet the incredible power I possess. Listen, they're close. Very close. They are right on top of us. Are you sure? <coughs> Are you convinced now? Sort of. I... Oh, uh, blast them all! Let the archaeologists sort them out! Don't you see, Bill? Don't you get it? This tire fruit! The automobile that wouldn't go? These trees that stopped us? This fruit that rolls, it all makes sense now, okay? I finally figured out what these are really for. Watch. Whee! It's a tire swing. Come on, try it, it's fun. <laughs> hey, this is great. Good scooter, if only you would disappear like the big hot golden thing in the sky at the end of the day. humans, they've run out of places to hide. We'll make pate out of them, man! What are we gonna do? What the heck are we gonna do? Don't ever do that again. Yeah! Vaporize them! 
I think we can call General Galapagos and tell him the good news. Come in, Thunder Lizards. What do you have to report? Our mission is accomplished, General. We have finally done away with those pesky humans. Behind you, Doc. We know you've always been behind us, General, and we just want to say we appreciate it. We realize there were times when... No, Doc! Behind you! Look behind you! <gasps> yeah! Yeah! The humans, they have air power, man! I don't like this, Doc. Whoever rules the skies, rules the world. Can it get worse? I am afraid it can, my friends. You see, this water we're standing in, it's a tar pit. Ooh, that is bad. Ah! Isn't this great? I don't like this. Why couldn't you have befriended something closer to the ground or slower moving, like a sloth or a tortoise or a postal worker? Okay, okay. I have a plan. We can be more comfortable, okay? I, 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 I. Whee! You can't beat this. I knew my automobile would come in handy one day. I don't know. I still think this is dangerous. Come on, it's fun. Let's just enjoy the ride. Okay, okay. Remind me to invent seatbelts, okay? <laughs> See? This is fun! Okay! And way up here, we don't have to worry about those mean old lizards. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's time for those fatty humans to feel the sting of our bee cannons. They're caught on a limb, so we'll just make them leave. Incoming! Outstanding flying cutter. Thanks, Doc. Okay, squat, you can let those bee bombs go now. Uh, gee, guys, I already did. Well, pray tell, squat, where did they go? We still have our parachutes. Well, uh, not exactly, Doc. Oh? Yeah, Doc, uh, Squat and I were gonna surprise you. We took our parachutes in to get our names uh, embroidered on them. They should be back by Monday. Kata, do you have your utility mallet with you? I'm sorry. Thank you. We had a wonderful time. Nice folk. Boy, I sure do like flying. It'll be even more fun when I invent stewardesses. Forget it! Flying is for the pterosaurs. Humans aren't meant to fly. If you don't mind, I'd like to stay on the ground for a while, okay, Orville? Let's just get out of here. Oh, no, no, no! We're not done yet. No, no, no! There's a whole other part to this adventure, Mr. Big Hurry. I call it a luggage carousel, okay? See, after you fly, you come to one of these and wait for your luggage. Isn't this great? When does the hurting stop? Eek. Hey, boys and girls, and all you kids, too, don't touch that dial. It's time for the Squishy Bear's Rainbow of Enchanted Fun Minute. Yay! <laughs> Final TikTok. Why must my bed be by this monstrosity? Good morning. Good morning. Bonjour, mon amis. Are you going to be in there all day? 
I'll be right out after I brush my teeth, Pierre. La, 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 la. You know the deal, Pierre. La, 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 last one up is the last to brush his teeth. <laughs> but this is not a matter of the brushing of the teeth. It is something much more, how you say, pressing. Well, gee, Pierre, nobody likes a line cutter. Why don't you go get breakfast started, and by the time you're done, it'll be your turn. Could you believe all the lemonade Pierre drank before he went to bed last night? Jeepers, it's a wonder he got any sleep at all. <laughs> Pierre, it's an emergency. Yeah, Cozy's perm came out. Please, the pain, it is unbearable. <laughs> Look, guys, a morning star. Boy, that means it's going to be a great day. Where? Right there, see? And it's getting brighter and brighter. <laughs> Why, that's not a star, Puffy. Which is not what was. That's a burning ace six intruder. A Phantom Series fighter bomber modified to carry a fully loaded lethal ordnance, including 60 millimeter machine gun, side wagner missiles, and 5,000 pound bombs. Ha! Boy, she's a beauty, isn't she? And see the pilot that slipped into a G-force blackout. A pressure-induced malady that renders the pilot unconscious and completely incapacitated for several minutes. Well, he sure is headed our way in a hurry. Mm -hmm. oh, well, quicker and quicker. <laughs> Exciting stuff, eh, kids? How are the Squishy Bears going to get out of this one? Be sure to tune in next week for the Squishy Bears Rainbow of Enchanted Fun Minute. Wow! I don't believe it! Kumbaya! I sure hope the Squishy Bears are going to be all right. I can't wait till next week to see how they get out of this mess. Boy, what a neat show. Those Squishy Bears sure do have exciting lives. Nothing exciting ever happens to me. Curious. I know. Maybe the squishy bears can help me. Hey, that must be their house over there. Kumbaya! They must be exactly where they were when we last left our show. I better get over there and help those squishy bears before that jet fighter comes out of its freeze frame and crashes into the house. I hope the next episode doesn't start anytime soon. Professor Wiggly will know how to send Eek back to his world. 
Well, gosh, that would be great. I mean, if it's not too much trouble. Hey, that's right, gang. Don't you remember? We were supposed to get over to Professor Wiggily's house and help him test his new rocket ship to Jupiter. Boy, I sure hope the Professor's new rocket is better than the old one. <laughs> yeah, it took us these many months to get out of the Toodle Snook Bruise Ward last time. But we're okay now. Gee, I wonder what Jupiter is like this time of year. Let's hope we live to find out. <laughs> Oh, don't be such a grumbly Gus, Pierre. Oh, no! You guys, look! <laughs> My eyes, the bad giant who thinks the bears might taste good! <laughs> Normally, I love barbecues. But not when we're the main course! <laughs> I really appreciate you guys trying to get me to Professor Wiggly's. Sure, we're in a bit of a bind, but if you look at the bright side, at least things couldn't get any worse. Oh, yes, it could. Look! All the stress has caused Cozy's perm to come out. Ah! Mm. Mm. Oh, good gracious! The squishy bears and that mysterious cat are about to be barbecued by that giant. I must do something. Well, isn't this a fine thing? My barbecue's ruined. We're awfully sorry about that, Mr. Giant, but we probably wouldn't taste very good being all soggy and everything anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. But you gotta promise to come back when the sun shines again. No, oh, we will. You can count on it. Using this rocket ship of mine, these lovable squishy bears should be able to push you out somewhere over your house on their way to Jupiter, eek the cat. Gee, that'll be swell. I hope it's not too much trouble, squishy it is no trouble at all, Monkey We must make sure that this switch is thrown in the direction of Jupiter and not the sun. If it's thrown to the sun, the ship will burn up, and you bears will implode inside your pressurized spacesuits. Well, golly, Professor, why do you have it then? I don't know. But there's no time for that now. You all must get aboard. Boy, this is exciting. Come on, Squishy Bear. Oh, hold on. I must get a photo to record this historic moment. Boy, it's toasty in here, and the air conditioner seems to be broken. It smells like burning fur in here. So hot, can't breathe. <sighs> Wake up, Big the Cat! It's time for the best dog cat in the world's dinner! Huh? Goombaya, I'm home, and it was all a dream! See, although Toodle Snook is a wonderful place, even if it was a dream, there really is no place like home. 